today we will review quickmagic.ai, which has the best tracker from video I've seen and I've tested from this year. Hello, my name is Pierre Schiller and welcome to Schiller Tips. Today we're going to talk about this marvelous website, which has a, a very outstanding tracking method for all of your videos. So this way you can motion capture whatever thing you're showing in the video, even with IK and FK. The controls are here. You can check out the video description to check out the links for the tutorial. But one important thing that we're going to be using is Blender 292. Please, Blender 292 plus the Potpourri MMD tools add-on. So go to File, Import, and let's bring any PMX file. And once you bring your, your character, in this case, I have this um, girl with the red hair. The first thing you want to do is to select the bones and then open up the MMD tool panels, come to physics, click on build, and that is going to create an official um, collision method to uh, for Blender to do the, uh, you know, the rigid body things. So this is important. Blender 2.92. Please do not use any other version. Go to Blender 2.92 because we're going to bring a VMD motion. So this is my first test. I wanted to know how fast it could track the motions of the hip. So I put this video test and you can switch between men and woman models to know how this works. And down here you have the download button and once you click it you're going to get the files. You can get these files as your presets from the beginning. You're going to get the dialog in the minutes ahead. Anyways, we are interested in the VMD motion. So come down here into the motion panel and click import. This is very important. You need to select your bones first. Select the character bones first. Click then import motion and then select your VMD file. And it has 99 frames. So I want to make sure that everything came in correctly. So I click one of the bones. And from there, I just push play. And if it's a little bit slow, as you can see in the viewport, the top left viewport, uh, it's running pretty slow because we are showing all the bones. You can hide the bones. And from there, we can see that motion is perfect. But I really want to make emphasis on the hip uh, COG, the center of gravity, and also the feet grounding. It is outstanding. It's one of the best features that Quick Magic AI has, and I seriously recommend it. All right, here's the full workflow. Again, we're working on Blender 292. Do not go to any other version. Go to 292. Now press F3 and type import PMX. And from there, target your PMX character file. I'm going to click on this one. Uh, it's a generic character. It's not an unofficial PMD, by the way. And the first thing I want to do is to create the physics. So once those things are built, I want to use this clip from this um, dancing girl. So I come to Quick Magic, come to the Upload section, and from there, click here, target your video file. It doesn't matter if it's horizontal or vertical. But one thing that I do want to point out is that they let you export right from the beginning the format that you want. So in my case, it's VMD, uh, motion for, you know, Miku Miku Dance. So I just want to name that, and also I want to check Mixamo. Click on confirm and that is going to start exporting at the cost of certain V coins. V coins are the kind of credits that you get uh, in the system to process your video. So here are some of the recommendations that I really want to check out uh, for you. So do not use uniform uh, color clothes, no wavy uh, dresses, no group dancing and other things. Please check it out because it's really important. Once you upload that, you will see that this little icon, loading icon, appears there. The other videos do not have it because those videos were already processed. And after five minutes approximately, you can click on refresh on your browser and then you will see this thing. The first thing I want you to notice is that the feet are moving but the tracking does not move. That is called grounding. And that thing is perfect because that's exactly what we want. If the subject is moving or sliding the feet, we don't want that on our character, on our FBX character. So the system does automatically recognize that and auto compensate it. Anyways, let's click on download. And once we get to the download, again, unpack it, unzip it, whatever your um, unzip folder is. And then we're going to get the files, the FBX, the Mixamo file, and the VMD. From there, we're going to go back into Blender 292. Don't forget it. Select any of the bones. We need to select the character bones and then click on motion and import. And from there, you're going to see that the timeline automatically changes 
in our case it's 621 frames and then I'm going to switch to post mode I'm going to select any bone to check out if the motion was transferred correctly and sure enough it is there so I'm going to hide the armature click on play and then we get this it's just fantastic and just under five minutes you have perfect BMD motion tracking and I hope that you really like this video and please please don't forget to subscribe my channel has been going down and I haven't been publishing as many videos because people are not really interested in subscribing and that really hurts the channel but I really want to bring you this content so I hope you enjoy this video and please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below because this is really amazing you can really act out whatever you want and then transfer your motion data into this if you're interested in watching further more advanced uh, motion tracking tagging videos please let me know because i'm willing to do more of this thank you very much my name is Pierre schiller i am a 3d animator and vfx compositor and let me ask you something have you tried blender try blender blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible